Hi, I'm Catherine from Winnipeg Sews, a small sewing studio here in Winnipeg. Today I'm going to show you how to sew a kid's mask for school. Step one, we're going to gather all of our materials. Step two, what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our materials so that we have nice little rectangles for what our child wants. Step three, we are going to take our rectangles that we've just cut out, we're gonna put them right sides together so that the insides where we want the mask to be is on the inside. And then we're going to sew all the way around, leaving a hole at the bottom. have one of these large multi-purpose feet that doesn't measure a quarter inch to the side, what you can do is you can, with this on your machine, take your ruler and measure from the needle to the edge here. I'm going to mark this on my machine where that quarter of an inch is. And that's extremely important because if you're not following a consistent seam allowance, you're going to make your mask smaller than it should be. Okay, so now that we have our fabric underneath the machine, here I am following my quarter inch seam allowance. I'm just going to start sewing and then reverse a couple stitches just so that when we turn it inside out, I am not going to lose my stitches. Remember to not sew over your pins and not hit the elastic. When you come to the corner here, this is a bit tricky. You can just use your hand wheel to get a quarter inch from the edge and then just keep your needle down, turn and rotate your work. Make sure you're not hitting the elastic. Okay, so as we rotate, you can see I've gone all the way around and we wanna leave a hole where we can flip it to the right side. So as I come around here, I'm just going to finish off my seam and then I'm going to backstitch one more time. Step four, we're going to turn our mask inside out so that the elastic is now on the outside. Step five, we're just going to press it and then we're going to pleat all of our three little pleats on the side. What you're really trying to do is make sure that the entire top to the bottom is all pleated together outside of your elastic. You want your pleats to face down on the mask so that they fold open over top of the child's mouth. Step six, top stitch everything together. Okay, and there you have it. We have a hilarious, kid-approved, double-sided mask that goes over the years, ready for school.